All right, folks. Welcome back again to Homebill Happiness. We're a little dirty today. I'm gonna tell you why. We're gonna browse, uh, browse a citrus grove real quick. We're staying on a citrus grove in central Florida in a little town called Weirsdale. And how we're able to do that is we're, we're members of a site called Harvest Host, and you can see them at harvesthost.com. And they link uh, RVers with you know farms, breweries, wineries. They refer to it as agra agra touring or agra agra tourist or. They have a name for it. That's where you stay here. And it's basically dry camping. And the deal with Harvest Host is that you pay an annual fee. You get to stay at these places for free. And the agreement is that they're basically providing um, free marketing to these businesses. And that when you stay, you're supposed to, to give them a little bit of love, you know? Because they're not getting paid. The host themselves doesn't get paid. They just get the free marketing um, from from Harvest Host. So some of these places we go to is a result of that. And we're staying on a citrus grove here, and they're out of season, but they they host year round. And when we got here, I asked um, the host Bill, which is a very very nice man. I asked him if he had any wares for sale, and he said not really. He had a couple things kind of left over from last season, and I said, well, do you have any work? <laughs> you know, because you get traveling, and if you're a full-timer, you know, and you haven't been working in a while, you know, you get a little antsy, and, you know, I like doing stuff like this. I like staying busy. I like kind of connecting where I'm at, kind of getting a, a kind of a deep experience. And he said, well, he said, I do got something, but I don't think you're going to like it very much. And so he told me about these vines that grow on these trees. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let's cross over to this other side. So if you look at this, uh, this orange tree, See these vines right here? If you look, you can see they just kind of just take over these trees. So if you follow down to the base, let's see if we can find it. Got that one. <laughs> these vines form a base and so what you do is you go down to the bottom and you take your hand there and you grab it and you rip that vine straight out of the ground by the root you'll see one right here that that's already happened to and it's dried up and anyways, I told Bill, I said, well, I'll be happy to 
put in a few hours of work for you and I'll pull these things. You know, it's manual work and I'm sure Bill's done this stuff for enough years that he's probably probably tired of um pulling these things out of the ground. So I'm sure he appreciated some some help. You can see one right there. That vine, it's been pulled out of the ground. You can see the roots down there. That's one that I've already gotten to. But I'm going to pull a little bit more of these. I'm going to take you for a walk with me while I do it. This is a, a day for me here. Staying on a citrus grove in Weirsdale, Florida. And um, I really hope that you folks like walking it with me. And if you like this material, if you like what we're doing, if you want to support us, feel free to click the subscribe button and Go ahead and click that notifications bell also. What that's gonna do is it's gonna notify you every time we stay somewhere like this and we're full timers and we gotta sleep every night. So we're usually, we're somewhere every night. <laughs> A lot of times it's somewhere different. And um, you can be notified whenever we post this material, you can follow us on the channel. I'm gonna walk up here towards this first row and we'll start there. It's just nice out here. Instead of being stuck in a campground with people next to you all the time, you can just hang out here by yourself. You can really connect with where you're staying. A lot of campgrounds have too much concrete. Where we're at, you have no concrete. And if it were a little later in the season, we'd have a whole lot of oranges. <laughs> All right, let's go folks.